Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Let's watch that wonderful moment where the brilliant Yvette Cooper, really beautifully schooled, arrogant Tory MP, Gary Sandbrook, on opposition day debate relating to the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman's papers. Believe me, Yvette Cooper was on top form, and she was ripping through the last 14 days of Rishi Sunak's chaotic front bench and its lack of seriousness towards national security. Well, Gary Sandbrook of Birmingham Northfield thought he had brought out a zinger question about Jeremy Corbyn. Then tell us, show us, and if it wasn't, start explaining why on earth the security and public safety of our country is put in careless hands. I give way to the Honourable Member. Very uh, appropriate way of starting this intervention, Mr Speaker. Before 2019, the then Leader of the Opposition, the Honourable Member for Islington North, actually cast doubt on our security services by questioning the, the, the intelligence on the Salisbury poisoning. Isn't it really the case that every single Labour MP over there tried to make that an Honourable Member Prime Minister of this country? Isn't the real threat to our national security Labour members on that side of the chamber? So, as members will know, at the time of the Scripple crisis, I disagreed with the words, some of the words that the Right Honourable Member for Islington North had used, and I was very clear about it in this House and the importance of backing our security services. But I would just have to say to him, I have a lot more concerns about his honourable friend, his right honourable friend, the member for Uxbridge, the right honourable member for Uxbridge, who at the height of the Scripple crisis chose to go to Italy, to a place called the Russian Mountain, to a villa in Italy, where he met with, without his officials, where he met with an ex-KGB agent. He took a guest, he didn't report who the guest was. He didn't report the meeting with the ex-KGB agent to the department when he returned, nor can he remember whether any government business was discussed. Now, I would just suggest to him that he should be extremely worried about his right honourable friend's careless approach to security and careless approach to our national security as well. Now, as soon as he brought up Jeremy Corbyn, my first thoughts were... You were voted on a manifesto of a man who disappeared up Russian Mountain, three sheets to the wind without security. And I was begging you, Ed Cooper, to bring it up about our ever absent former PM, Boz Johnson. And when she did, I was proper minted. I was practically nearly dancing. You can smell the desperation of this ridiculous government talking about second chances and showing her mercy and recognising her mistake means she deserves a second chance. But all the while, the desperation to try to say that a man with an unfeasibly large marrow at the bottom of his garden is far more dangerous than a serial liar and a Russian stooge and a woman whose nickname amongst her peers is... Leaky Sue is quite laughable and I was also say quite desperate as well. But what do you guys think? Leave your messages below and let me know. And until um, the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care.